Welcome to the Collection DX Review. I'm Andrew, taking a look at an interesting piece of a Transformers merchandise. This is the uh, Choro Q Robo Rodimus Convoy Rodimus Prime. And uh, Choro Q, as you may know, are a, a line of little pullback cars from Takara uh, that in the West were known as penny racers. And this is essentially a little transforming penny racer. And it also combines aspects of uh, Takara's short-lived other Choro Q Robo toy line which uh, featured guys like the Scope Dog, the Dugroom, uh, Galliant, and Giant Gorg. And they could also transform, but not into anything recognizable. So anyway, here's uh, the, my favorite Transformer character. Here's Rodimus. Little Rodimus. He's a nice little piece of bite-sized Transformer. Just a, little, a hair over two inches tall. Uh, he's got very good detail for his size and his kind of cute little styling. Uh, he comes with his Photon Eliminator rifle, which you can pop out and you see that it is just a piece of red plastic painted black. So, that's interesting how they did that. He's got moving arms, which are kind of tight, um, but if any of these joints on him are a little just, uh, aren't moving for you, just take a Phillips screwdriver and loosen things up. So yeah, he's nice, all plastic, but he does have rubber tires, and um, as you can see, he's actually an all-in-one design with the trailer being a part of his body. So that's really cool. So with these figures they came in uh, a nice little authentic looking box that had custom artwork there. And uh, it looks really cool there. Dash! Transform! Cybertron transform and attack. Yeah, and they even got the old style transformation instructions. And uh, they point out here this comes in a TV version and a metallic version. So, this is the TV version, and this is the box for the metallic version. The only difference being is uh, this part, the label right here, and their number. This is Q05, and this is Q06. So, I did get the metallic version, and uh, here he is with the TV color version. And, uh, yeah, um, honestly, I think this one's pretty ugly. Uh, I, I just picked up both of them because I thought it was a better deal that way. But, uh, yeah... Yeah, it is kind of cool to have both of them, but I'm not sure what went wrong here with uh, Mr. Metallic Colors. He seems to be the shade of some weird off-brand root beer. And it's really hard to tell, but all the stuff that's orange on this guy is kind of a, a weird bronze on this one. So he looks a bit more monochromatic. But uh, anyway, let's just put this guy off to the side. And transform him. A little rod in this combo here. So it's pretty simple. Just flip up his ample bosom, which has a little pullback motor in it. Just unlock these here, side panels, and then these just click in place. I have found that there is a tiny bit of paint scraping here because of how this locks into uh, his painted boots, so just be aware of that. Just do that, and then you flip his spoiler around. And again, this joint was a little tight, so I just loosened it with a screwdriver. You can pop the photon eliminator back in his spoiler. So here we go, little tiny Rodimus, the Space Winnebago. Very cute, very adorable, and I appreciate that they managed to put his little flame decal in here, even though he's got a different transformation. So like a Charo Q, he does actually roll, uh, but you gotta like really wind him back because these wheels in the rear don't spin quite as freely. So let's see. Yeah, you gotta get until he clicks. Okay, and... So yeah, uh, it doesn't roll too well on uh, certain surfaces, but you can see he does actually work. Anyway, very cool, and um, before I go, I just want to show you, here's what he looks like next to the original G1 Rodimus Prime, which would probably be the closest comparison when this guy was released back in 2001. So yeah, these guys are neat. Uh, they originally cost uh, 980 yen, or roughly $10. Uh, these days they tend to go for like twice that on eBay, but if you look around, it's not too hard to find like a lot of them for a good price. And uh, if you're into like weird transformer toys and like the ancillary products, I definitely recommend picking these little guys up. They're just cool and cute looking. 
And again, it is cool that you have an all-in-one transforming Rodimus. There aren't that many of those. So uh, anyway, this has been AndrewCollectionDX.com. Give him some rub to uh, my Rodimus Prime. Love this guy.